What is up, beautiful people? And uh, welcome to The Rye in Poetry. My name is Rye Downey, and I am your host for um, however long this video continues to roll. So um, I just wanted to like post and talk to you guys for a second uh, about <clears throat> the book Cafe by Ezra Pound. Um, I got my copy in today, and I'm really freaking excited about it because... Um, Basically, for y'all who don't know, but who do love poetry, um, or even those of you who don't love poetry and don't know, this is going to be a little history lesson as well. Um, Ezra Pound is one of the preeminent poets of the 20th century. Um, he, along with uh, T.S. Eliot, kind of <clears throat> revamped and reinvented poetry for a whole generation, and still continues to do so. Um, his involvement with the Imagist movement, which he actually created, um, is a huge... Uh, step forward in uh, reinventing poetry and at the same time he also did a huge uh, translation like a groundbreaking translation of poet uh, poetry from Chinese into English and uh, the main poet that he translated was Li Po or Li Bai as he's known in China and also known as Rihaku because of the tr translation into Japanese that uh, Ezra Pound actually translated this from. So, um, yeah, it's just really cool to have um, a translation that involves two of my favorite authors, Li Po and Ezra Pound, in them. And um, I just really wanted to share it and bring it to your attention as well because I think that everybody should check out Li Po because his poems are just amazing and the translations that uh, <clears throat> Ezra Pound did are um, extremely impressive to me and uh, also a cool thing about Li Po or Li Bai is that um, a few years ago the Postal Service uh, United States Postal Service did a series of stamps called Poetry Around the World and it basically had poems in really like tiny letters uh, printed on stamps in the original language in which they were written so and the uh, poem that they decided to use for uh, Chinese poetry to exemplify it was actually written by Li Po um, so I thought that was really cool, and, um, yeah, I thought that this would be a really fun thing to post about, and also, uh, as an example of a Li Po poem translated by Ezra Pound, I was going to read this, which is also a very, um, large example of the Imagist movement, in case you're ever interested in checking that out. So, <clears throat> this is The River Merchant's Wife, a letter by Li Po translated by Ezra Pound. While my hair was still cut straight across my forehead, I played about the front gate, pulling flowers. You came by on bamboo stilts playing horse. You walked about my seat playing with blue plums. And we went on living in the village of Chokan, two small people without dislike or suspicion. At fourteen, I married my lord Yu. I never laughed, being bashful. Lowering my head, I looked at the wall. Called to a thousand times, I never looked back. At fifteen, I stopped scowling. I desired my dust to be mingled with yours, forever and forever and forever. Why should I climb the lookout? At sixteen, you departed. You went into far Kutoyen by the river of swirling eddies. And you have been gone five months. The monkeys make sorrowful noise overhead. You dragged your feet when you went out. By the gate now, the moss has grown, the different mosses, too deep to clear them away. The leaves fall early this autumn in wind. The paired butterflies are already yellow with August. Over the grass in the west garden, they hurt me. I grow older. If you are coming down through the narrows of the river Kiang, Please let me know beforehand, and I will come out to meet you as far as Chofu Sa. So, yeah, that was Li Po, the river merchant's wife, a letter translated by Ezra Pound. <clears throat> so, I hope you enjoyed this. Please go out and check out Cafe by Ezra Pound. Come on. Focus. There it is. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Stay blessed.